Hello, hello. Welcome to the channel. Today, I'll show you how you can tune your headphone with Sonarworks Reference 4 software. This is the 14 days functional demo. So I've actually used it for the past 12 days. I've got two more days there before it runs out. But all I've done within these 12 days is used a different linear face EQ that I have to recreate the correction curve. And it has worked because I've tried it on different mixes and actually got a better mix than not having it at all. So on this blue line, that's how my headphone EQ curve is. As you can see, there's a big boost there, there, and there's a dip there. So the green line is the correction they've placed on the headphone. So they've basically done opposite of what the reference EQ is to compensate. Now, if you look here at the assimilation, which is now giving you the flat response they wanted, this uh, orange or red looking line. Now, all I've done is used Logic Pro X EQ. Because you haven't got much band, you will need about three to get this done. So I've uh, named this the A. I basically use this to assimilate this uh, bush they've added there, a bush and a dip there. Now I've used this first one to recreate and then I've used the second one which is the B to recreate the mid there's a, a boost there which is that boost and the dip there the dip and the same bump there and you can see one notch there on the 10k then the third one is the same there's this other notch here that's why I've used that to recreate as well I'm able to use three different EQs to do this because Logic Pro X doesn't give you enough band, the linear phase. If you have something like the Fat Filter Pro Q or the Infinity EQ by Slate, then it's easier to do it with one because they give you enough uh, band to obviously place the nose and everything. I've used this to mix about two, three songs since these 12 days and they actually worked. So it's a lot better than not having it at all always make sure that once you've done mixing you turn them off you basically have to switch it off same even if you buy the sonar work reference for once you're done mixing you still need to turn it off before you bounce so thanks for watching this is how you can get your headphone tuned they've got different headphones you just need to select your headphone and we'll get you the eq curve then you just grab your E linear face eq to recreate the curve thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe hit the notification bell and i'll see you on the next video